This week in Washington, D.C., new showings are up, but new pending contracts, new listings, and new closings are down. My name is Mark. I'm a team leader and local real estate agent here in Washington, D.C. with Search Real Estate Group. Today is November 16th, 2022. This is your weekly Washington real estate update. I'm not going to go through everything because that would take forever, and I want to keep this video a little short. This orange column is this week last year, so 2021. This bluish green column is this week compared to last week, 2022. Okay. The general consensus throughout is we are down. I'm not worried about it. One of the reasons why actually is right here the showings are up. Now, we have to take that with a grain of salt because we did just see one of the largest interest rate decreases that we've seen in a while. So this data being a couple of days old, I, I do think that that has been factored into this. But what I want to see is 10% next week, 15, 20%. I want to see week over week over week, that number getting larger, this number of showing requests, people requesting to see houses. That to me actually means buyers are coming back into the market. A slight blip uptick like this. We got some good economic news. Maybe people are trying to get in before the end of the year. But we're going to start to see things pull back again, and I'll explain why I don't think that's that big of a deal. As we go through these graphs, this orange-reddish line, that's this year. This blue line that I want to also pay attention to is 2021 because we know how crazy that market was. And again, we're talking general themes. We're not so much worried about this data too much. We can go into that deeper. But the general theme is where you're going to start to see our normal, natural, seasonal pullback. And what I mean by that is you are not buying a house around Christmas. People are worried about other things. You have family coming into town. You're traveling. You're not thinking about buying a house. We see this every year. So as we start to see these graphs trend down into the holidays, just remember to pull back a little bit and look at, at to why. It's not always pure, bad economic data. Sometimes it's just seasonal. Okay, So we're about 40% behind where we were last year. I expect that number to continue to go down through the end of the year, but that's going to be more seasonal issue rather than a uh, macroeconomic issue. New purchase contracts. How many people are under contract right now buying a new home? Again, this red line is obviously below this blue line, so we are down from last year. But as you can see, in the craziness that was 2021, even going into the holidays here, you start to see that graph trending down. Things are slowing down naturally. We will still see that here with this orange line as we go out through the rest of the year. But it's because of seasonality issues, not because of economic data. Now, something could happen that changes that. But we expect every year, regardless of the ec economy, a pullback this time of year. Okay, So don't get too worried about it. We can go through the same stuff here. You just hear me say the same words about weekly new listings. Look at the blue trend line into Christmas. But what I love about this chart is it shows right after the holidays, look at this uptick, boom, every year, except for 2019. Why? Global pandemic, right? So anything could happen that changes this. Trend lines are important. History repeats itself. I'm not worried about it. This isn't snake oil. I'm not telling you not to freak out or to come list your house now. What I'm saying is as you're around the dinner table and you're talking to your family about how bad the real estate market is, pull back a minute. And just say, okay, where are we in the normal cyclical nature of this market? You now have the information to know that, hey, we always pull back towards the end of the year. Right after the holidays, these numbers show that we should see the uptick to carry us into what is hopefully a strong spring market. If you have any other questions, you want further detail into any of this, you can absolutely reach out to me. My name is Mark. I am a team leader and a real estate agent here in DC with Search Real Estate Group. This is your weekly Washington real estate update.